Hello everybody, my name is Gabriel and today I'm going to give you a quick look at the 2020 Mazda Miata MX-5 RF. And before we do that, I want to make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to go even more in depth on this car, make sure to check out our full review also posted on our YouTube page. And we're going to start with one of the most important things about this car, that being its engine. The original ND Miata came with the same engine, although in that application it only produced 151 horsepower. This being an ND2 Miata produces 181 horsepower as a result of various upgrades. Not only that, it makes more power up top and is generally a smoother, more reactive engine to drive around town. If your first thought looking at this car is, wow, that's very tiny, then you'd be correct because this ND Miata follows a lot of the same footprint than the original NA Miata did from the early 90s. If you really think about it, this is only a little bit wider and about the same in length, but the big figure here is actually the weight because the original NA Miata weighed about 2,100 pounds and this upgraded version with all of its safety technology, Apple CarPlay, leather seats, everything only weighs about 23, 2,400 pounds, give or take, which is astonishing, especially comparing it to some of its competitors, which are much closer to 3,000 pounds. So the RF in the Miata name stands for retractable fastback, which as you can see, this Miata is a target top, unlike the traditional convertible. And while this is not a convertible, it has a very, very nice roof, which the mechanism itself is something to see. So you're gonna see it now come over me. It takes about 15 seconds, more or less, plenty of time to do it in a stoplight. So let's give a quick look to the interior of the MX-5 RF because I think it's definitely something, a major improvement over previous generations. In front of me, I have a traditional gauge cluster, but the gauge all the way on the left is digital, which is a nice addition to the standard analog ones. In the middle, we have this screen, which is controlled by a little dial in the center and is also touch if you want to use it that way. But the big news here is that it finally includes Apple CarPlay, whereas previous generations did not. Everything else here is nicely appointed. The edges of the doors have the same body color as the exterior, uh, but overall it's nice. Some of it is leather wrapped, some of it is plastic, but it's done in a nice way where it looks much more upscale than the price you're paying for the car. There's definitely no extra room in here. Uh, this car is solely about performance. And while we didn't need a super luxe interior, I'm very, very glad that Mazda put in the time to give us something nice to look at. So that's been an in-depth look at the 2020 Mazda Miata MX-5 RS. And we want to thank you for watching, but if you want to go more in-depth into this car and learn just a little bit more, make sure to check out our full review also posted on our YouTube page. So take care and we'll see you very soon.